love meeting amazing East Coast folks, and whenever we get the chance to interview an expert, we make it our mission to get a lesson or two on what they do best. Oyster shucking, perfect putting, flower arranging and the like, and just as we were yearning for some learning, another expert's been found. Welcome to Fondant 101 with superstar cake fondant pastry chef, Nicole Robichaud. Hi. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Take it away. All right. I have a piece of rolled fondant here. I'm going to roll it into a log. Uh, this is how I create the ruffles around the cake. Um, you need to get to your fondant quite long. So you work it out like this. And over here I have a piece that I rolled out already. With this small little rolling pin, you want something quite small that's workable that you can use for both rolling and creating the ruffle. So once I have it flat like this, I'm going to trim off any edge that's too long and try to get it to a a little bit more of a workable size. Now the second step is to go along half the edge and create the beginning of the ruffle. You can only do about one ruffle at a time because they will dry out, they'll start to crack, but you also don't want it to be too soft, otherwise it'll fall apart in your hands when you're applying it. Constantly lifting it up because it'll stick. If at any point your fondant becomes too sticky, you can use cornstarch because my cake is not real, but if your cake's real, I would use icing sugar or icing sugar and cornstarch mixed. So just creating this edge. My sill pad's a little bit short, so I'll probably cut down this ruffle to size, make it a bit easier. I'll put it over here. Hope that it doesn't dry out too much. I'll go over it again if it's still a bit too thick on the edge seems like every time is different, so you just kind of have to judge it on your own. Make sure you always lift it up again so that you won't stick at the end. We use this fondant tool with the round, larger round top and the smaller one at the bottom. And you're going to go along the edge and create the tiny little ruffle at the top, kind of like a carnation edge on it just rolling it back and forth, not all the way around, but just rocking it back and forth along the edge. Try not to tear the edge. I'm going to glue on the ruffle with uh, wedding cake icing. Only go as about as far as you need, otherwise it'll dry out and it won't stick anymore. This is the really hard part, because it might break while I move it. You wanna create the ruffle by sort of pinching it in and bunching it together. This is why the shorter the better, but you don't want it to be too short. Otherwise, you'll have too many start and stops in the ruffle. You can go through it with any tool, any kind of stick that you want, just to make sure things are bending over the way you like, and then you kind of press down your bottom so you don't have too much of an overlap next time around. I'm going to pipe little pink pearls around it. I find it's much easier when you're sitting so you can be eye level with your cake and you don't have a strange angle on your piping. For the finishing touch on the ruffle, I'm going to add the pearl luster and kind of shiny dust paints. You're not going to add any water, it's going to be completely dry. Use kind of a flat based paintbrush and you just kind of brush against the edge and the edge itself will catch most of the color and then some of the dust will fall down. If it starts to get too dusty, you can blow it away and it'll just cover the cake. For the finishing touches, you can add flowers to the top of your cake. You can use fake flowers or real flowers. The key is to get the stem into the cake. You can use anything for that. I um, chose this chopstick and I'm poking holes into it. The center one could be centered, but the other one should be on an angle so that your flowers can be arranged, sort of a bouquet. And once all your flowers are arranged, that's your finished cake. And now you know how to work with fondant and create this, thanks to superstar fondant, pastry chef Nicole Rowe Show. That was amazing. Thank you. What a wonderful wedding cake that would make. 